And many times we ask people, even those who come to the show, to tell us what is it that the nation is saying when we are seeing people out on the streets. And many of them, even when we said that we're coming, you have invited us to come and have this conversation this evening, they said, tell the president that he's tone deaf. And we ask why and how. And they say, when William Ruto took over as president, he took over a budget of 3.2 trillion shillings. He went to parliament and he said, honorable speakers, I believe that this budget is too high. We should cut it by 300 billion shillings. So you believed barely one and a half years ago that you can run the country with 2.9 billion shillings, trillion shillings. Barely a few months, you went to parliament and requested to spend 3.6 trillion shillings. This year, you went to parliament and initially requested to spend 4.2 trillion shillings. And what do they see in return? They see extravagance in government. They see a government that is pushing gung-ho to employ new people called CASs. They see a government that is purchasing new motor vehicles and trips that are extravagant. They see opulence with those that are close to the president appearing in public carrying wads of cash. They see condescending attitude from those who serve in this government when they're asked, why are you spending? And they respond the way they respond. Your advisors speaking the same. And so they see a government where the president is telling people, we are going to live within our means. We are all going to tighten our belts. We have austerity. They end up with their children not going to school because for months, JS teachers are on strike. They end up with, right now, 91 days where clinical officers have not been to work. <clears throat> 91 days, Mr. President. We ended up with intern doctors going on strike for weeks because the government says it has no money. We end up with people going to the hospitals and there's no medicine. We end up with people who are being told that we don't have money to pay salaries or we don't have money to pay salaries and also uh, have a development. Yet, they see all this extravagance and opulence from those in power. You are tone deaf, Mr. President, that's what they say. Well, I guess that's why we must have a conversation. That's why we must have a conversation. And I'm very happy for us to have this conversation so that we can put the facts on the table and we can all of us make a decision. But let me tell you the following. I've listened to you and um, let me also tell you that today the universities which were almost closed, they had debts of 60 billion shillings. I have enhanced their budget by 40 billion shillings, the universities, because education to me is very important. It is the greatest equalizer. Today, the universities can confirm to you, and I was sitting here with the vice chancellors, that I made the right decision because we are funding the universities better. Let me also tell you, I took the decision to hire additional teachers, 56,000. It has never happened in the history of Kenya. Why? Because education is the greatest equalizer. Many parents in rural, in rural Kenya take their children to schools that have no teacher. And we are disadvantaging them. The children of the poor get the worst form of education. They have no chance. I decided, because I said it is bottom up, I decided that I'm going to put more money in making sure the child of every Kenyan has an opportunity to be their best by giving them the correct education. I decided that I am going to put money in farming. I put the first year, I put 10 billion shillings in fertilizer subsidy, a program that had been scrapped for five years. The, the, the difference is obvious. Today, 
by God's grace, we have a harvest. The prices of food commodities has come down. Day before yesterday, Latif, there was a release of where we are with inflation. Inflation in Kenya is now 4.6%. When I came into office, it was 9%. Inflation coming from food products. It was reported not by me, by the institutions that are charged, 4.6%. Mm. We have, the, 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 where I have invested money, <clears throat> I can account for it. Right. And it is making a difference right. in the lives Their of many. Their concern is yes. on extravagance yes. in government. I, I, will come, I will come to opulence in on, on, on opulence and extravagance. Every trip I have made, I have not made any trip outside Kenya to go and do things that, have of, that are of no benefit to this nation. I can account for every trip that I have made outside our nation, whether it is on projects or programs or investments or even the profiling of this country to put it in, the, in good standing for us to attract investment. In fact, the Nairobi Stock Exchange, which was, which was almost closed, was rated the best in the world, not said by William Ruto, but it was in the public domain by Bloomberg. If you don't believe me, believe Bloomberg. Mr. President, yeah. so, so th th I, have, I have done what I could for the country. You have but not let answered, me finish you have not opulence. Questions. Let me go to the opulence. And let me be very clear that uh, the display of uh, you know insensitivity is is a statement that has come to me and is a sentiment that has, uh, has has come to me and you will see something very different going into the future whether it is coming from uh, my staff whether it is coming from uh, this office and, and i know people have raised issues of cs for example I deliberately, even after Parliament had approved the, the position of CS, I have not appointed any CS because I realized that we were in a situation that we could not. And no CS will be appointed until we have an economy that can support more opportunities. I know citizens have said that there is no need for the office of the uh, first lady second or second lady, lady. Third lady these are offices that were there but because we have to live within our means those offices from tomorrow this new budget which is starting tomorrow they will not be part of our equation because in the face of what has happened we have to trim down every other area and in fact not just those many other spaces are going to be trimmed down to reflect the new reality, especially after the finance bill was taken down uh, by myself when I said we, we take this down. We are going to cut our cloth. We are going to cut our, 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 our coat, our coat uh, the size of our cloth. We're going to uh, reduce uh, money going to counties. We're going to reduce money going to the judiciary. When I came into office, the judiciary was getting 18 billion. Today, they are getting 25 billion. But it was because I believed in the rule of law. I believed that we needed to do something about making sure that our judiciary has resources because Kenyans were telling me directly, justice delayed is justice denied. Will you I cut have the size hired of your government? the highest number of judges under my administration because I believe that Kenyans must deserve justice. Will you reduce the number of ministers, ministries, or state departments, or advisors? That is an area we are going to target and cut down because it is the reality we have to face. Mr. President, uh, when things like this happen elsewhere, this is a whole finance bill that's been taken down. Correct. 